Hello everyone, this is lecture series 4 under network security dealing with programs that attack. Thanks for the support you have shown towards us. Please keep supporting us. Come let's go into the video. So in last video we have seen different types of attacks that is happening in the network. In this video we will be detailedly seeing about the programs that are attacking the network. So it is divided into three types. One is virus, worm and torsion horse. What is virus? We day, In day to day life it is very common that we use this word that virus is in my system. right? So this virus is nothing but it is a kind of program that is developed in the system. So what happens is this virus will start attaching with each file whatever we serve in our system. That is here you can see you have a clean code that is there is a job that is printing and closing of job and that is that is what the complete system tells. So adding of x to y will be printed and the program will be closed. If suppose if the virus enters into that then the virus software also will run along with the add x to y. So along with this printing, the virus software also will run so that whenever you keep doing the next program, the virus also will start attaching to each of your program which you are opening and accessing. So finally what happens, this virus, it will start replicating and it will delete all the files. So it will, it will be difficult for us to retrieve all the files that is affected by virus. And next is worm. Worm is nothing but it doesn't attach with each file. What it does is it will completely halt the performance of the system. See, it brings down the system performance. So how it brings down is a worm code is present in one file. So when you are going to access the other file, it keeps on replicating this worm software. What it does is it keeps on replicating multiple times. So when multiple times, if it is replicated, finally, the complete performance of the system is going to halt. So that is what happens here. It will destroy the performance. Next is Trojan horse. So Trojan horse, what it does is it does not um, attach with any file. It does not observe or do anything. It finally, what final action is all confidential information, it will steal up. That is, see, a user is using a, a user ID and password to log in in some website. So that user ID password will be completely destroyed. Right, that will completely be destroyed. That is, it will see the confidential data, take the confidential data and it will destroy it. This is what is happening. Next, so these are the three types. Now you will be seeing in detail about the different phases of virus that it is going through. So there are four phases it has, dormant, propagation, execution and triggering. So in dormant phase, what happens is it is a phase which is idle form. That is here the uh, virus doesn't do anything. It will, it will be waiting for some action to be happened. In propagation, it will start propagating and keeps attaching to each and every file. In triggering phase, what happens is the dormant phase which is waiting for action. No, here in triggering, the action will be performed so that the virus at the dormant phase will uh, get triggered and it will start attaching with each files right next is final execution phase in this execution phase after going through all these phases in this phase where either the virus will be harmless or destructive harmless is nothing but the virus will be present in all files but it will not harm us it will not delete or modify any data but the other way is also there, destructive phase. Destructive phase is the virus code which is, uh, which, which, have on, which is on the higher side where it will completely destroy all the data wherever it is attached to. So these are the four different phases. Next we will be seeing about the type of virus. It is not one virus, it has many types. Parasitic virus. So parasitic virus is nothing but it is a very common form of virus where it will be uh, sitting in one file and keep replicating uh, with all the files where it is attached to. In memory resident virus, what happens is, see when you're going to store some file in a memory. So this virus, memory resident virus will sit in that memory and destroy the memory. 
boot sector virus is nothing but when you switch on your uh, pcs you will you will be seeing a message uh, booting so it is just that during the booting of the system itself this virus will sit on the disk or the drive so complete data will be destroyed during boot booting only stealth virus stealth virus is nothing but it is a virus which is a very intelligent one what it does you know uh, it it will prevent the antivirus software to perform its function see why you have antivirus software uh, when you check it should show that if there is any virus it will show a message that there is a damage or dangerous or a virus sitting in your system this stealth virus will sit on the antivirus software and it will not allow the antivirus software to show the damage message or warning message to the user polymorphic virus so polymorphic virus is nothing but it will keep changing its identity wherever it sits in the system so if the identity is you cannot ident user cannot identify for sitting at one file it will have its own identity sitting in another file when it have its own Id another identity the user does not know he can only identify only one identity of virus is there so he will delete that virus and move on but there will be n number of identity virus sitting in different places and finally metamorphic virus is nothing but in addition to changing the identity uh, identity of uh, it itself it, this will keep rewriting itself that is the code that it develops it will be keep on rewriting Uh, either it will destroy only the files or it will destroy only the memory like that it will keep rewriting itself so this is the types of virus next for detecting the virus you have to first locate the virus identify the virus and remove all the traces of virus to restore the data so this is what will happen and here in antivirus software generation you have different kind of generation that is followed see how in first generation how the antivirus was they had only simple scanners that is when a when a virus is there with only using simple scanners scanners it may find it may help uh, finding the virus but uh, it was not in a advanced form and second generation uh, had some small uh, uh, small um, Uh, higher capability of finding the virus that is uh, it will it will be developing a code block where with that code block in second generation they were finding out the virus present in the system and third generation there were still more uh, uh, thing where uh, it was using memory resident one uh, so that when the uh, it was forming a large database so that each database when it is stored in the memory it will find the virus when when it is sitting in that database or in when it is sitting in that particular memory so that was the another uh, particular thing here in fourth generation it was completely feature protection that is it will identify the virus locate the virus whether it is in memory form or it will change its identity or it is very simple virus which sits in only in one file so any kind of virus the fourth generation antivirus software can find out the uh, find out the virus and remove it or remove the all traces and restore the system so these are the different generation so please stay tuned for more information thank you